Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther Akrara of Estivella Designs. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make a ball dress for an eight-year-old girl. So if this sounds like what you love to learn, then watch to the end. Please don't forget to click on the like button and drop us a comment. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is to mark my borderline, which I've marked already. I just drew a borderline. There's nothing much to this. Then the next thing I'll do is to mark a half length. It's a gown that has half length, a ball dress. So the upper bodies, we're going to draft the upper bodies. So her half length is 14 inches. So I'm going to mark 14 inches. So I'll just exhaust the paper. So this is 14 inches down here. 14 inches. 14 inches. So that's a half length. Okay, so this is the half length of the child. So the next thing I want to do is to mark her, is to mark a box that will contain both fronts. We want to draft both front and back on this same paper. So her bust is 30 inches. So I will divide 30 inches into two. If I divide 30 inches into two, I'll get 15 inches. So from this 15 inches, I'll add one for ease. So I'll get 16. So the 16, I'll divide it by two, which will give me eight. So I'll mark 16 first. I'll mark 16, then mark eight. I'll mark it downwards to 16 and eight. So I'll connect these lines. So this will be our center front, while this will be our center back. So I'm going to be marking center back towards this place, and I'll mark center front towards this place. So the next thing I want to do is to mark a shoulder measurement. So a shoulder measurement is 13. So 13 divided by 2 give me 6.5. So I'll mark 6.5. I'll come to the back also. I'll mark 6.5. Then I'll mark her chest line. Her chest line is... Boss divided by 6 plus 1.5 give us 6.5. So that will be a chest line. And that chest line will be taken from after the shoulder slope. So I'm just going to add 1 inch to this. If I add 1 inch to the 6.5, it's going to give me... Or let's add half inch. I'm going to add half inch to it because she's a child. So I'm just going to add half inch. So that means our chest line is going to be 7 inches. I hope you get that. So connect these lines. Okay, so this is a chest line. So the next thing I want to do is to mark the same shoulder that I marked here. I'm going to mark it here too. So we said our shoulder is 13, 13 divided by 2, 6.5. So I'm going to mark it. So I'll mark it down here to 6.5. So I'll connect the lines. Okay. So the next thing to do is to mark the basic neckline. The basic neckline is 3.3. It will work for her too. So I'm just going to mark 3.3. I mean three by three. That's three on the width and three on the depth. Then for the back is going to be three on the width. Or let's just make it 3.5 because I don't want it to be so tight on her. 3.5 will work. Three point five by three point five because I don't want it to be tight on her. So I'll use the width for the back will be three point five. Depth is going to be one inch. So I'm going to connect the lines. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to mark the shoulder slope. We're going to mark the shoulder slope of one inch at the front. Then we'll mark half inch at the back. Because the human shoulder is not straight. That's why we use one at the front and half at the back. Has a form of slant. So that is done. So the next thing I want to do is to curve our arm O. So at the front, I'm just going to go up by two and come in by half. Half is okay. Then I'll just draw a straight line first. Then finish it up with a curve. Okay, so for the back, I'm just going to get everything that I have here. And I'll divide it into two. So at this point, I'm going to go in by half inch. Then I'm going with my straight to lap four. And then I'll finish it up with my cup. Good. So that is done. The next thing I want to do is to impute my waistline, my waist measurement. So my waist, the waist measurement of the girl is 28 inches. So 28 divided by 2. 28 divided by 4 will give us 7 inches. So I'm going to mark 7 inches here. I'll mark 7 inches at the back too. Okay, we can do a little back tightening. Just tighten by half inch. So I'll come in from the center back by half. Then I'll connect it to the neck width like so okay so now i can mark my seven from there the waist which is 28 i can now mark so that is done so i'll just connect the lines i'll connect the lines so this is done we are pretty done with it this is the basic bodies it doesn't need you don't need that for a child's clothes because they don't have big balls to contour we're not contouring anywhere so they don't need any that on their clothes when you're making clothes for children please don't insert that because it's, the that is going to be useless there's just there for nothing so we we'll just cut out my head to transfer to fabric you can see i added half inch to the shoulder i added half inch to the ammo to the neckline too i added half inch then because this is center front, I placed it on fold. You see it is on fold because it's center front. Then this is the back. I added one inch for the zipper allowance, half inch on the neckline, half inch on the ammo. Then by the side, I added 1.5. You can add as much as you want. So I added 1.5 by the side. So I've cut on the fabric. We're using a lace fabric. So you know if you are using a lace fabric, you will need support fabric that you put under the lace. So I went ahead to also cut the support fabric. So this is the support fabric for the front. This is the support fabric for the back. This is the support fabric for the front. And this is the support fabric for the back. So I went ahead also to cut the lining. This is just support fabric. I'll show you what a support fabric is. It's what you put behind your lace. Then I also cut lining. This is the lining so this is lining this is support fabric i use brighter satin as both the support fabric and the lining i use my brighter satin so let me show you what we use support fabric for so i'm just going to remove my pins i'll remove my pattern so this is my back so you bring your support fabric and put it behind it then you sew them together they will now become one So you see, I'll just put it behind it like this. And I'll put this behind this too. So you see, we'll hold this together. We'll, I'll go to my sewing machine and hold them. They will now become one. These two will now become one. 
to now become our fashion fabric why the other one will not be this will not be our lining i hope you understand that's what i mean by support fabric because a lace fabric is transparent so you need something to first cover the transparency first so i'll just go and join them together i'll do the same thing for the front then i'll come back to show you how we we'll start joining them together okay guys so i've stitched it together you can see it's now one the support fabric and the lace is now one so i did that for both front and back so the next thing that we want to do we want to achieve neat finishing we want all the seam to be inside we don't want to see any seam outside so for us to achieve this we'll sew fabric to fabric lining to lining separately so this is my fabric so i'll bring my front and my back i'll place them together and i'll join them by the shoulder you can see it i'll just join by the shoulder just the shoulder hold the shoulder and leave it then you bring your lining this is our lining this is our lining piece too so you put your shoulders together that's the front this is the back so you join them by the shoulders too just the shoulder alone okay so i've sewn it by the shoulder you see it this is the fabric and this is the lining so the next thing you do is to place them on each other over each other right side facing right side so the next thing you do now is to sew the neckline you leave the one inch for zipper this is the center back so you leave one inch for zipper then you start sewing the neckline from that one inch you sew it round after sewing the neckline you then sew the arm o but if it's a sleeveless you just sew the arm o and leave it you sew the arm o you sew the neckline leaving one inch for zipper that's if it's a sleeveless but we want sleeve to be inside ours we want to have a cup sleeve a cup sleeve so before you sew this arm o you have to put in the cup sleeve you have to fix it into it. We'll sew it inside before we close this ammo. So let's take care of the sleeve. Let's cut the sleeve, then put it in before we can close this ammo. But if it's a sleeveless, you can go ahead and close the ammo. So let's cut our sleeve. So it's going to be a short cup sleeve. So what you do is just fold your fabric into two. Cup sleeve is very, very easy. So just, just cover it. You see it? Just cover it. It's as simple as that. And cut it. So you see it. Next thing you do, you just cover this place, the down part. You just cover it. So we are going to put pleating. There will be pleating here. So you see, this is how you are going to fix it into the sleeve. So I'm going to cut two. I'm going to cut four of this. So, and I'll cut lining for it too. No, I'll cut two of these, then cut lining for it to turn it that's what we are going to do so let me turn it okay guys so you see i've pleated it round i pleated the sleeve round so this is going to be our sleeve this is for the second one so i'm going to fix it in between now let's fix it in between okay guys so this is the dress this is the front this is the back this is the zipper now so i'm going to bring the lining this is the lining. I'm going to place the right lining right side facing right side like so. So you see, this is the sleeve. I'll place it over. I'll get the midpoint. Then I'll place it here like this. Then I'll bring my lining. This is my lining. I'll place my lining over it right side facing right side. And the shoulder must be matching this shoulder line where we sew. I'll place it like this then i'll go to my sewing machine i'll sew the armhole with the sleeve inside i'll sew the armhole 
after sewing the armhole, I'll sew for the second armhole too. I'll fix in my sleeve. I'll sew for the second armhole. After sewing this one, I'll sew for the second armhole. Then I'll sew the neckline. You see the neckline? I'll leave the zipper allowance. The zipper allowance is one inch. I'll leave that out. Then I'll sew the neckline round. When I get to this other circle, uh, center back too, I'll leave one inch. So I'll just go and do that and show you. I'll sew here. Then sew the two armhole with the sleeve inside. Okay, guys. So we have sewn it. I've sewn the neckline. You see it? I have sewn the arm all. We're fixing this the sleeve in between. So what we'll do now, we'll go ahead and notch it. We'll notch the neckline so that it will relax. Then we'll notch the arm all too so that it will relax. Then we'll turn it over. Okay, guys. So you see we have sewn it. See the neckline. I've turned it. I've turned it to the other side. I've turned it to the right side. I notched it like I told you. And I turned it. See the arm all. You can see the sleeve is neatly tucked inside. See it? You can see it is looking very beautiful and neat. This is how yours should look. See, I left one inch allowance for this zipper. So let me show you. That's the inside. So this is the outside. You can see it is looking so pretty. So the next thing we want to do now is to join both sides. So let me show you how you join them. You just come to the wrong you put it right side facing right side like this so what you do you just i hope you can see what i'm doing just turn it up like this let the arm o this is the arm o let the arm o face each other like this fabric to fabric lining to lining you can see it like this you see it but first you can hold the zipper allowance okay let's hold the zipper allowance with gather stitch so that it will be easy so you first of all hold this place you can hold the lining first then you hold the you hold the fabric you hold the lining first then you hold the fabric after holding the zipper allowance then you turn it over this thing is not difficult. Just watch what I'm doing. You see it? So I'll bring fabric, this fabric, fabric to fabric. They'll be together like this. Then lining to lining. See the lining? Lining to lining like this. Then I'll put in my measurement. I'll do the same thing for the other side too. Fabric to fabric. And lining to lining. You see it? Then I'll put my measurements. You see it? Fabric to fabric. Lining to lining. You see it? So I'm going to put my measurements. I'm going to put in my waist. I'm going to put in my bust. So I'm going to sew it. See, I'll sew it like this. From the, from the fabric, I'll sew it and enter the lining so it's just going to be a straight sewing i'll just enter if it's lining i want to start from i'll sew from the lining and i'll enter the fabric you see it after putting your measurement just sew just sew it like make sure when you are sewing make sure that the arm o is matching you see this place let the arm o be matching like this then you sew okay guys so i've joined it by the side like i told you let's check the inside you can see see how neat the inside is you can see it this is what we call neat finishing it's not going to itch the child nothing is going to be touching the child this is what you should do when you are sewing baby dress not only baby dress you can also do it when you are sewing your adult clothes too it makes it very neat and beautiful so this is the back this is the size that we joined i'll go ahead and press it when i was sewing the side i added a belt to it so you can add belt if you want when you are joining the side you're just fixing your belt into it so if you want so that's it that's what i did so the zipper allowance is still open now what we are going to do we are going to add the lower part the lower part is going to be two net we are going to use two net we'll gather two net so what i did for this she doesn't want it very bulky so i used eight yards eight yards of net let me bring the net 
I bought eight yards of net. And what I did, I shared the eight yards first into two. That's four, four yards. I shared it equally, four, four yards on both sides. So that four yards, the gown length that we are working with is, the gown length is 39. 39. And the upper body is 14. 14. So if we minus 39 from 14, what do we have? We'll have 25 inches. We'll have 25 inches. So after sharing my net into four, four yards, I kept one aside and I brought the four yards. So that four yards, please, please be noting this calculation. That four yards, the first four yards, I divided it. I removed 25, 25 inches. You know the length of two nets is 60 inches. You will get 60 inches. Or sometimes you can get it 58 inches. So what I did is I removed the first 25 inch. Then I removed the next 25 inch. That means I got two layers from that first four yards. And I brought the second four yards and I got another two layers from there too. I hope you understand. So all together now, I have four layers. So it is these four layers. This is one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. So you see these four layers now. I'm going to gather it. I'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew gather stitch at this top. So this gather, this gather stitch, after sewing it, I'll now draw it. Then I'll put, fix in my, I'll cut my, my flay. This is going to be my, there are going to be two lining. One is going to be the outer lining, the one that will rest on the net, on the two nets after gathering the net. Don't worry, I'll show you all these things. This is the first lining. So I'm going to gather the two nets on this. Using the circumference, how I got this half, this is a half circle, not a full circle, it's a half circle flay. I got it by dividing my waist by 3.14. You know it's half circle. So 3.14 my waist, the waist I'm working with is 28. So 28 inches divided by 3.14. That is how I got the circumference of this waist. Then the length is, that's my full length minus my half length. That's how I got the length of the flay. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you understand this explanation. So I cut it and I cut the inner lining. This one will be the inner lining. So I cut the same thing for this. This is shorter. This is like two inches shorter than the main lining. So that's what I did. So let me just gather the two net. Okay, guys. So you see, I've gone ahead to draw my gather and I sew it on my layer of um, bridal satin. You see, look at what I did. I sew it on the bridal satin, the first bridal satin, which is going to be the outer lining. So this is what we have. You can see that it's not that full because I use eight yards. If you want it very full, you can go ahead and, and buy and use like 14 yards or 16 yards. Mm. That would be better. But this, my client doesn't want it to be that full because according to her, she says she's a big girl. She doesn't want it really bullish. <laughs> so this is what we have now. So what I will do now, I will sew this to the fabric fabric alone please don't sew it to the lining this is the dress now don't sew it to both the fabric and the lining don't sew it together like this no remove the lining and sew this sew this to only the fabric then you bring the lining you know we cut two this lining part so you sew the lining i hope you can see what i'm doing you sew lining to lining like this you see lining to lining then you sew fabric this is the main fabric you sew fabric to fabric i hope you can see what i did this one and this one will go this one and this fabric to fabric then lining this is the lining for the upper part and this is the lining for the lower part so you sew lining to lining okay guys see what we have here you can see it's neatly finished see the inside then let's see the outside so this is the outside you can see it is looking so pretty so let's see the front this is the front so this is just a simple tutorial on how to make a ball dress 
all you need to do now is just to fix your zip. You can fix your zipper. I don't need to show you how to fix the zipper. So just fix your zipper and you are done and your dress is ready. I hope you found value in this tutorial. If you do, please hit the like button and drop us a comment. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.